Hi Marcus. Hi Glenn. Good to see you. So this is Marcus Lambert from LG Electronics. Uh, he's just uh, blowing my mind. They're, they're doing batteries now. Tell me about this. Well look, LG down the track will give you an all-in-one solution where we've got our panels, high efficiency, but we're also already manufacturing inverters. We haven't brought them into Australia yet. And also down the track you'll have an all-in-one solution with a battery. It is an LG Chem battery inside of it, but actually the BMS and all the inverter is an LG system. So we actually give you a better warranty that the LG Chem will give you on their own product. So this is a battery energy storage system, a BIS. That's right. Which, under the new standards, is kind of a, a better option to go for, once that standard gets published anyway, because BISs are probably the easiest to comply with. True, but look, over time, in the next 12 months, LG will look at AC solutions, single phase, three phase, so we'll bring a whole suite to the market. Um, what we feel is some end customers really like the fact that they can deal with one supplier, and obviously we are the major brand in the solar space, at the moment there's a consumer brand, so we think that down the track that proposition will be a, a very acceptable proposition, because the end customer only deals with one supplier, one warranty, etc, etc. So I've never seen any of the products in this case before, so this is the inverter? This inverter, we make them as an 8 to 10. At the moment, what we really brought out today for this show is really the European product, because if you think about an 8 kilowatt inverter in Europe, possibly generates about the same amount of electricity under their light condition that a 5 kilowatt does in Australia. So the one unit we're really looking for is a 5-6 kilowatt inverter down the track. So that's coming in about 6 to 8 months. And then the batteries, we've got a 7 and a 10, and they're both, uh, you can couple two of them together into the inverter. So theoretically, you could have an 8 kilowatt, and you could have two 10 kilowatt batteries, 10 kilowatt hour batteries. So which LG Chem batteries are inside the cabinet? They are the same ones that are just in the same, the pouch version that are same in the LG Chem. So new, new form one. factor, so it's not a 6.5 in a cabinet? No, no. So we basically, we've, LG Chem has produced their own special battery for us. That's why we're feeling that from a battery, from a warranty point of view, you get a 10 year warranty, but we actually give you an 80% of discharge still after 10 years, not the 60% that you get with the conventional LG Chem. Cool. And so uh, it's a hybrid inverter, it takes, uh, well, for the Australian market, 5 to 6 kilowatts. It's uh, PV input. Yes. Yep. Uh, it's is it it's bi directional? Has at it got the a... moment, at the moment, the version that we have right now here on display is a three phase only. Yep. So, a single phase is coming about six months afterward. But we, as I said, we're operating the whole suite. Now, the reason why we feel this is a good solution is also that our high efficient panels are moving now to 370. So, over here, we've got a 370 Neon R because we think as soon as batteries come, as soon as the EVS comes, that your normal 6.6 .6 is not going to be what you're need anymore. You've got to be in 10, 12, 13, 14 kilowatt space. Yep. And you really need to be nearly in a 400 at that point in time to be able to actually fit it on most roofs. To get your strings right too. Exactly. Yeah. So, so people nowadays buy 275 or 300. Yep. They should really think about it because it's not going to be relevant in years to come. Right. Other question is, uh, is this got a backup circuit? This one, yes, does have a backup as well. Again, it's coming with its European heritage. It is at the moment only on an IP level that it's in indoor install, but again the 50, uh, IP54 is coming by late this year. Right. So what happened is the LG guys thought, oh, Europe is going to be the big battery market. The product was designed for them. Then they look at Australia and suddenly go, oh, gee, there's a great opportunity. So we're now scrambling a little bit to actually get the product ready for our market as well. Great. Well, I'm excited. So now we've got the full LG suite from generation to storage uh, and inverter. One big thing is also we do have an LG dealer network. Initially, the batteries we will not send out through distribution. We feel there's a lot of stuff going out through the distribution channel in the battery market, which ends up in very customer dissatisfied end solutions. And so we really we have a big brand to protect. So really, the way that we want to go to the market is with people who are really fully qualified to know what to do with that product. I don't want to have to go somewhere into, you know, a place where somebody installed it and then did a runner. And I've seen that happen with a lot of batteries. Great. Well, thanks very much, Marcus. You're welcome. Cool. Thank you. Well, Marcus, uh, bifacial panels, they're hot. Everyone's talking about them. What's so special? I mean, it's against the wall. How's it going to work? No, no, look. We've been actually been in bifacial quite a few times, but I haven't really in Australia pushed them too hard. We just sold one megawatt of these for a solar car park. Look, the benefit is quite simply that, as you can see through, we, we do not use glass or glass. 
So this is a clear film on the back of the panel, but you still get your 25-year LG product warranty. Now, what have I seen of them really in real life performance? Because theoretically, if you get them a meter off the ground, you have wide uh, pebbles underneath. What our engineers tell us, they do at least 20-25% more. But I've seen them just in performance in a couple of comparison systems. If I put this on a flat roof, dirt sink loom or so, something like that, I tend to get about 7-8% to more than just the normal panel. But the more I can get the tilt and the higher I get it off the roof, the more output I can get. So I call it a bit like a turbocharged effect. Now the positive about this is from a price point of view, this is actually not going to be that much more expensive, maybe three or four cents than our general model. So when you can get up to eight, nine percent more output, but you can actually only pay maybe three, four percent more, more in the price per watt, I actually think going forward, this is actually going to be a very, very attractive proposition. So you've kept the cost down by not doing a glass laminate glass, but glass with a back sheet that's yes. translucent. Yes. So price similar to conventional single face panels, but now with the bifacial boost, depending on how you install them, you're getting a bonus. That's right. And the higher you get off the roof, the more tilt, right. you get the bonus. I mean, I hear basically, this is a very new product to us. Yes. We are now studying the data in the Australian market very, very carefully. But so far, I've had, let's say, our 390 on a flat roof against the competitor that's 390. We were getting 10% more output out of it. This is really interesting because I've been saying tilts are gone. Everyone's just putting them flat on the roof now, but actually tilts are coming back because of the bifacial. I do believe so. And look, I think overall, we're going to have an issue with this flat on the roof stuff because I've seen system now with the wash off and the dust that you will get issues down the track, I believe, with hotspot and all that. Yes, it all looks good on paper, but time, father time kills a lot of panels. And I, I'm really fearful that when we're cutting corner on the install, yeah. that over long periods, it'll cause issues. So we personally still believe a bifacial and the tilt Overall, it gives you a more robust system than all flat on the roof. I like it. It's, there's an encouragement to keep your panels clean and produce more energy by tilting them. Simple as that. Cool. And I mean, last point about LG, we are the biggest consumer brand in the space. Uh, I started in 2008 to 9. A lot of the names then, they're all just history now. And LG's been around for 60 years, so we think we've got a good proposition to have. Cool. Thanks very much, Marcus. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. It's not an LG phone. No, it's an LG phone. It's a black LG phone.